Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So today I want to talk to you about something that's really bothering me, and that is the fact that Moms Demand, you know, the activist group, is actually running for state, local, and federal offices. As a matter of fact, they now have a program to get their activists elected to office. And apparently it's working when over the past, I believe, year or so, they've managed to get almost 60 seats Filled, including mayoral seats. So they're actually mayors of different cities now. So we have basically activist groups now infiltrating politics in order to push an agenda, not necessarily look out for the people and their rights, but push an agenda. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA. I myself have been a member for the past five years now, and USCCA is an extremely valuable membership to keep in your wallet that provides you with self-defense liability insurance, a concealed carry reciprocity map, online education and training, and so much more. They even offer spousal benefits as well. So definitely check it out. USCCA will be linked down below. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are wondering, how is this different from a regular politician? I mean, most politicians run for government. They have uh, some type of agenda. It's usually an agenda that doesn't work in our favor. As a matter of fact, it typically works against us, and they're going to try and push that agenda, right? Well, the thing is, with these people, these activists, they have one specific agenda. That agenda rules their entire thought process in their life. They wake up in the morning, they have their mug, it probably has something on it that says, you know, uh, we're not trying to take them away. On the other side, it probably says, yes, we are, right? Th these are the people that wake up and that's all they do. That is their entire thought process. So then their motivation for getting into office is to try and restrict rights. That is their singular goal and their singular focus. So these people are uh, worse than your standard everyday career politician. And the fact that they've won almost 60 seats across this country, across different boards, including school boards, believe it or not. I believe in Texas alone, there was a school board that had three of these members, uh, these Karen's Demand members, uh, on their board now. So they're actually affecting what's happening in schools. Uh, you know, at the, the low level, what's happening in schools all the way up to the mayor's office. So it's, it's pretty incredible to see how they're trying to infiltrate with their activism. Now, you always get people that ask, well, what are we supposed to do about it? You know, we can tell people about it. We can, uh, you know, let people be informed, let them know that they're from this group and try and get them to vote for somebody else or whatever. That's like the big thing. Just let people know, spread the information so that people are smarter when they go to the ballot box. But what about, okay, this is my proposition. What about those of you who might be watching this video right now who have uh, an education and a clear background and a clear conscience who are pro-constitution? Why not run? Why not run against them? If somebody from this group is actually running for office, why not try it yourself? Maybe you're not really into politics. Maybe that's not really your thing, but you're pro-constitution and you think you can make a change. Why not, instead of just going for the career politician, instead of the person who's trying to get in that we don't want to get in, why not try and run for office yourself? You know, I understand that, you know, there, a lot of times it comes with a lot of risk and there's a lot of, you know, exposure and stuff like that, but I think we need to have more people from our side run, just like they're doing, and try and take these seats ourselves. Why not, why not go that route? That's the way that I would be looking at things. Now, obviously, we don't have the huge backing of these financers like they do. I mean, they have some of the country's biggest billionaires backing them up, and we don't. We're more grassroots, right? But we're talking about freedom. We're talking about the Constitution. Uh, that's something that I think you know, should be out there. And I think that we should be trying to run against these people. And instead of placing a career politician in that seat, we should try and place somebody who is pro-constitution in that seat. And maybe somebody who's not a politician, somebody who comes from the grassroots. So again, it's, it's a pretty big deal. They're trying to basically take over politics by putting all of their members in different seats across this country so that they can push their own agenda and try and make change for the worst. We need to try and stop that. We need to have somebody out there, multiple people out there, whoever can do it, uh, get out there, run for office, and see if they can make change themselves. So that is is my answer to that problem. And you know, if you guys have a different answer, that'd be great. But we really need to put a stop to all of these people, these Karens, getting into office. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.